On a Saturday night in Jackson, it was the Ironmen beating the Waverly Tigers, 51-37. We'll tell you how it happened in just a moment. Our Litter Game of the Week is brought to you by Hometown Motors Incorporated in Chillicothe. The zero-turn mower that set the standard for the industry, SCAG. Available now at Hometown Motors Incorporated, 818 Eastern Avenue in Chillicothe. Jackson came out blazing in the first half with a 17-6 first quarter and then a 25-13 lead at halftime. They maintained double figures the rest of the way. We caught up with both coaches after the game. You know, the first quarter really said a lot about the game. I think we set the tone here at home, um, jumping out to a 17-6 lead after one, um, and we kind of just kept that, maintained that lead. We didn't extend, and it's hard to because Waverly is well coached. Coach Robertson does a great job. Their program's a great program. We have the utmost respect for them, um, and we knew they were going to come bring it, and they did, and, and we knew that no lead was too big. Um, so we, I was really proud of just our effort and intensity that we had for four quarters. Our kids weren't real engaged to start the game, uh, which is surprising with us knowing what was on the line playing against Jackson and possibly moving up a couple spots in the tournament. But, um, you know, it is what it is. We're dealing with a bunch of high school kids, and uh, they weren't uh, ready to go. And offensively, made a lot of bad decisions, uh, had too many turnovers. Uh, you know, our bigs who have played really, really well here of late, um, had eight turnovers between the three of them going into halftime, so and, and very rarely are handling the basketball. So um, made bad decisions, uh, defensively weren't engaged, and we let the Wallace kid get off to a good start, and he was able to control the first half. I, I can't say enough about you know Caleb Wallace. He's a great player. He's going to have a special spot in my heart. He's been went through this program for four years. He's been a true Ironman, doesn't miss workouts, plays really hard. But there is something to be said about a senior to a sophomore. Trey Robertson is a great player. Um, can't say any, say enough good things about him. You know, he is unbelievable. The offensive skills that he has are top notch. Um, we haven't really faced anybody with the skill that he has. Um, and in two years from now, I really don't want to face him then either. So um, it was a battle. You know, Caleb did a great job. Trey did a great job. It was just a great game. You know, a great game with a lot of kids out there playing really hard. You know, it's it's hard to it's hard to win back to backs, especially when you're playing back to back against two quality teams. You know, they played okay a big SOC game, um, got a big road win last night and had to, you know, they spent a lot of energy to get that win. Um, and then to come back here tonight um, and play the way they did, I, I mean, their, their kids have to be tired, but boy, did they play hard again tonight against us. Yeah, I mean, it, it is tough, but there's no excuses. I mean, we have to be ready to go. Um, you know, we played back to back a few times this, uh, this year and actually two of our four losses have been on Saturdays when we play back to back uh, with us only playing six guys pretty much right now. So. Um, you know, it's a tough loss, but hopefully, you know, we've got a lot more to work on and we've got a long way to go in the season. We're still fighting for the SOC, still fighting for a high seed in the uh, tournament. So hopefully uh, we, we do our, our, our job and uh, we're able to play these guys again uh, later on in the tournament. We're starting to gel and, and click, you know, at the end of the season. Um, getting healthier, you know, Evan Spires had a broken leg from football, number 15. Getting healthier towards the end. Uh, Drew Bragg, sophomore, uh, you know, didn't have varsity playing time until this year. So, you know, we, we're playing a lot of sophomores, a freshman and Jacob Winters. You know, these are guys, you know, Boston Coon didn't play varsity last year. Griffin, Bra you know, we're rotating a lot of guys in that really just got their first varsity experience this year. So it took them a while to get going. And boy, now we're starting to, to see and understand the intensity of the game, how, how tough it is. It's a battle for 32 minutes and they're really starting to click. It's great to see as a coach. The tournament draw is next weekend for these two teams and they could find themselves facing each other in the super sectional or quite possibly at the district at OU. Be sure to watch our YouTube channel this week for a highlight video of tonight's contest and of course subscribe when you're there. It's free. I'm Dan Ramey. Thanks for watching Litter Media.